What is going on, everybody? Brad here, back with another Let's Talk Jurassic. This is your weekly live stream here from the Jurassic Park podcast, talking about all things Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, whatever else is out there. We'll talk about it. We've got a few things to talk about here tonight. We're going to be talking about uh, some Mattel stuff. We'll talk about some... Um, uh, some soaps. We'll look at some soaps here in a little bit. And uh, that's probably it. It's going to be a shorter one tonight. I am going to have to wrap it up in uh, uh, by 940 or so because I have to go record some other stuff. So I have other stuff to record. So uh, and that's in regards to this week's uh, episode of The Mandalorian. We're going to be talking all about The Mandalorian over on the Force cast. Um, so definitely check that out when the time comes, but, um, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Speaking of Mandalorian, you know what? I, I want to get this out of the way real quick before we even get started. Um, I got to give a shout out to John Favreau for doing absolutely everything. And I'm not going to spoil anything. So don't worry if you haven't watched it yet, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm just going to say shout out to John Favreau for doing everything that he possibly can to get Universal to be like, oh yeah, maybe maybe we should make a live action TV show. Maybe it is possible for us to do dinosaurs on screen every week. Maybe it is possible. Maybe we should make a TV show. And I, I hope they do. I really hope they do one day. John Favreau is really giving it to him and saying, "Look, Universal, you got no excuse. There is zero excuse for why you're not making a TV show." Um, so there, they, I know. I just, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like um, Frank Marshall has said something along the lines of like, uh, you know, that's not for us or something like that. We're we're, we're going to stick to what we've got with Camp Cretaceous. We got a bunch of you know, episode, uh, uh, seasons of that show, and we're going to continue strong there. Um, what happened to that? Oh, it stopped. Um, but maybe they'll continue that in some form or fashion. But it's like, hey, it works. It's possible. The Mandalorian is right there with some big, big stuff that you could do every week for Jurassic. But enough of all that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about uh, some things here. So over on our website, got this fixed. So it's not just showing my notes here every week. Um, this week's episode, you can find it over on Jurassic Park podcast.com. You can find the latest episode over there. It's episode 347. Is that what it is? Yeah, there we go. 347. Uh, and this one's Jurassic Obsession. It's a new segment from Ben. Uh, ben has done the book club episodes. He's done a few different interviews and things like that um, over over the time here as a contributor for the show. And Ben wanted to start up a brand new segment called Jurassic Obsession. Um, and this time, Ben t uh, chatted with Jurassic Collectibles, which was pretty awesome. So Jurassic Collectibles has been on um, a few times here or there on the show, but... Uh, I really appreciate Ben for getting back to the basics of like really what the the podcast itself has has been or was in the past. And uh, that's basically, you know, getting to the interviews with the fans, the people who are really at the heart of this entire franchise. You know, yes, there's the creators and uh, the actors and all the people behind the scenes and all that good stuff, the people who really make it come true. But the real heart of it all is all of us here, you know, everybody in the fandom, everybody that tunes into things like this or reads articles, you know, on Outpost or, uh, you know, goes to uh, a theme park to celebrate and buys the merch and buys the toys. So uh, I really appreciate Ben for getting back to the basics here and uh, having a segment like that, interviewing people from the community um, who are obsessed and trying to figure out why. Why why are we the way that we are? <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate that. So it's a, it's a great segment. Definitely check it out. They talk about uh, collecting. They talk about the films and all that good stuff. So definitely check it out. Um, and Ben's going to be continue this, continuing this um, 
you know, for as long as he can. So there's going to be a lot of these coming up in the future here, so keep your eyes peeled. But uh, that is on JurassicParkPodcast.com. You can check it out over there. And I uh, just wanted to shout out this article here from Tom Jurassic. Fanatic launched a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary line. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can talk about this. Let's talk about it. I didn't even add this to the notes. But uh, look at this. This is pretty great. This is pretty great. I'm gonna bring. You know what? You know what? Since we're here, where, where's my? Uh, let's see, let's do this. Boom. JP Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. Um, check out this article here. Tom Jurassic wrote this one up because Fanatic has some new merch. Uh, Fanatic has always been uh, has always worked nicely with us, so it's been awesome to kind of show off some of their new stuff. You know, help get the word out there and everything. And uh, this stuff's really cool. Fanatic always does really, really awesome stuff. I have a bunch of their stuff um, somewhere on the shelf here. Uh, do I have it? Oh, yeah, it's all, it's all right down here. Yeah, you can't really see it in that. But uh, they've got these just amazing... Um, oh, if I do that, the Scorpius is going to fall. Uh, <laughs> Scorpius is going to fall because it's leaning on it. But this basically this like um, opening weekend ticket thing, I have like one of them down here. It's amazing. Gold-plated like actual like ticket that's super cool they come they they have all these like really cool coins and um different pieces of like merchandise that that are super super unique like i love these things and they always come with these like really awesome boxes um so now they're celebrating the 30th along with everybody else um this thing's really cool this like what is this thing um some sort of badge or something <laughs> trying to figure it out Oh, there's a, oh, it's it's the, I think it's the vehicle ID card. Is that what that one was? Yeah, yeah, vehicle ID card. So that like the lanyard thing, I guess that would hang from the window or from the mirror. Uh, what does it say? Hold on, it's going too fast, Tom. Um, it says, please keep your walkie talkie on your person. How do I make this? It's my own website. This is my own website. Make it work. Uh, keep your walkie talkie on, make sure your hard hats are worn. Please make sure that all equipment uh, is returned back to the base. Please wear the correct footwear. Pretty cool. Um, so there's that. There's coins with uh, awesome stuff on the back. Look at that. Super cool. Is that on the back? I'm assuming. Um, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, you can check that over on their website. Wearefanatic.com check out the uh you know good prices and everything too oh that's a print that wasn't even in the back my bad um the ticket right here super cool love the ticket stuff uh there's the badge the coin this thing i wanted to check out. i thought this was like the back of the package but no it's a piece of art which is really cool how to how to make a dinosaur with mr dna um let's see what does it say uh let's see oh this is super cool this is awesome. This is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. How to make a dinosaur. Um, dude, I love the graphics. Super cool. Number one, a mosquito feeds on the blood of a living dinosaur 100 million years ago. That sucked. What, whatever that part of the voice was. That wasn't right. Because I didn't really know where the sentence was going while I was saying it. Uh, <laughs> number two. Find fossilized amber with mosquito trapped inside, and then extract the DNA from the ancient mosquito. Number three, use frog DNA to fill in the gaps in the genetic code. Number four, bingo, dino DNA. Life finds a way. Uh, that is super cool. I dig that. <laughs> There's the frog. Uh, and there's that guy that digs a hole down. Um, I feel like I can like trace like where it goes, where he like digs his hole. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is super cool. That's super cool. How to make a dinosaur. And that is, uh, how do I get out of this? Where am I? Where am I? How do I get out of here? There we go. Uh, you can pre-order that 2002. Uh, odd price, but I guess that's uh, some UK pricing, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I cannot uh, accept the cookies. I, I'll take, I'll take your cookies. You selling me cookies? Um, yeah. And this release is the 31st of March. Very cool. I dig that. But yeah, they've got a lot of really great stuff on there. Um, 
course, some of it's not loading. I think I have these vehicle gates, but I think I have the gold ones. Um, I've got that uh, claw. I don't know where it is, but I have that somewhere. Um, I think I have these coasters. I've got some, maybe some of those prints. I don't know which ones I've. Uh, yeah, but these they've got a really great website there, so definitely check it out and check out their latest stuff for the 30th anniversary right there, and that comes from, uh, you can check it out on JurassicParkPodcast.com. Everything is right there. So thank you to Tom for that article. Of course, you can find us over on Spotify. We are over there, so you can listen to that awesome episode with Collect Jurassic. I guess you can. Let's see. No, not Collect Jurassic. Jurassic Collectibles. <laughs> Whoops. Um, Jurassic Collectibles right there. Uh, so many collects in Jurassic, um, which we will be looking at again later on, <laughs> but there it is again over on Apple podcasts. And please do us a favor. If you listen to the podcast or if you watch this and you know, you can comment below, you can tell us what you think and how you feel. But if you listen to the podcast, or even if you don't, just go ahead and leave us five stars. We'd really, really appreciate that. Uh, helps us move up there and let people know that, you know, hey, it's a, it's a podcast worth worth listening to. So definitely go check that out. Um, also, on the Forcecast, I was on this most recent Mandomania and retirement update. Uh, Ryan, Ryan. But uh, I was on that one, so you can see my name right there. And then, uh, of course, my other show, while we're plugging. Grim Grinning Hosts, go check that one out as well. Uh, that one talks about theme parks and other pop culture stuff. But let's go ahead and move on to some other fun stuff here. Uh, so I, I don't, I'm not gonna, you know, shout out everybody that's in here tonight because um, we don't have a ton of time here tonight. But uh, I do want to shout out. Uh, where are you? I see you somewhere. Add it to the broadcast. Hey, shout out to Jurassic Souls. Oh, disappeared. Hold on. <laughs> Shout out to Jurassic Souls uh, for the super chat. Super appreciated every time. I can't believe you. Every time. Uh, really, I, I don't know if I can tell you how much I appreciate it. Come on the show. Come talk. Enough. Let's do it. Make it happen, all right? Um, and you had said, with the Dr. Squatch soap uh, Jurassic Park collab, and it disappeared. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, out there, I wonder what other themed Jurassic soaps they can make. Maybe one based on Site B. Uh, that's cool. I love that idea. Yes, please, some Site B soaps. Uh, site Site B. They're like in their in their soap lab, and they're like Site 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 B. Uh, uh, you didn't tell me there was a uh, another soap. Um, but uh, I would love a Site B soap, and that would that would definitely smell like very much like like a, a forest or something like that, right? I would absolutely think that would be, you know, your your pine scented or so, like what is a what is a redwood smell like? Redwood scented, um, <laughs> tree bark, something like that. Um, but uh, I do. Uh, that's what we're we're gonna talk about here. I have not gotten a chance to upload my um, actual like look at them yet. I did a quick one that is posted on. It's on YouTube, but it's also on like twi uh, twi what what, what uh, other sites are we on? TikTok, uh, Twitter, Instagram. But I have not gotten a chance to upload it fully. But it's right here in this crate. Boom. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. Super sick. I just can't believe they, they sent out this amazing, amazing box here. But um, And I put everything back in. But uh, these things are super cool, and mm. Mm. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I have not yet gotten to use them yet. Obviously, they are still in the package, but man, do they smell super good. I um, yeah. I, I obviously they sent this to me, and it sounds very like oh, you're just like saying it because it smells good because they they sent it to you or whatever. Sent it to you if you get, if you get my drift. Mm. That one smells like super clean. Mm. <laughs> Just gonna smell things. This is like ASMR. We're gonna be smelling soaps today. Come smell this soap with me. Ooh, that is a good. <laughs> that is a good soap. I'm gonna wait. Listen to this. 
Oh, uh, there's music playing, so like the ASMR really doesn't work out, does it? <laughs> but man, that smells. That smells like super clean, super nice. Um, mm. Man, they both smell so clean. Oh, that's so good though. Mm. Amber granules. Woof. I love it. I love it. So they sent out a nice little uh, like pamphlet, or not a pamphlet, but a postcard there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a deeper look at these because I have the website up right here. We're going to take a look. Um, it is right here. A mystery offer. Let's take a look. What is the mystery offer today, folks? Uh, where is it? Uh, it is. I'm just going to use this one. It's not JP30, but it might as well be. Um, I mean, it is. I guess it is kind of JP30. Um, I think we'll just use this Jurassic Park 30th anniversary for like everything because that's what everything's going to be. Um, but uh, I've got the, uh, the website up here and uh, look at this stuff. Oh, I, I, what this, this is a little, ooh, there's like stuff popping up all over the place. The collection, 16 bucks. You can't really beat that. That's not a bad price. Um, you know, I haven't used them, so I don't really know, like, how long does that last you? You know, how long does their soap last you? You know, I know how much, like, a typical bar of soap will last, which is, you know, could be quite a while. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm just, I mean, I, I don't know, is it? I, I'm definitely just using it as a hand soap. I don't know. Do you use it as a body soap? <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be sitting like because I have, there's a bathroom right over here. I'm gonna use that uh, right there. That's gonna be perfect uh, hand soap for there. So um, super cool. Sixteen bucks. Add it to your cart. Boom. In the cart. Taking taking us to the cart. My cart's empty. Oh no, <laughs> there it is. There's the bundle right there. Uh, I'm not gonna check out because I already have one right here. But I probably. Once I get diving into these, I'm sure I'm going to um, really dig them. But you can check it out right there on the main part of the website. Um, get started. And I like this website. It's got some fun stuff going on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to get rid of this little video here. Um, and uh, I like that the T-Rex ah, scared me. It's like jump scares on this website. It's like, oh, wait, where'd it go? Let's do it again. Oh, just browsing, just browsing, just browsing. Oh, just still just... Ah, a raptor. Oh, my God. Scared me. Oh, now, now we're out of the browser completely. Ooh, wild facts you probably didn't know about. Um, about Jurassic Park. Uh, the iconic Jurassic Park gates were inspired by Steven Spielberg's desire for a King Kyle... King Kyle? I, I, I skipped Kong and went K, K from Kong, but then st Isle... Isle from style. So I'm a King King Kyle's entrance. <laughs> the massive animatronic T-Rex was created by the legendary creature designer Stan Winston. Um that's pretty cool. We all know this stuff. Uh but uh oh look at this. Oh here. Here we go. Oh man, this is a great, just such a great site. So they have the two um the two soaps here. We got King of the Bricks. And uh, we're going to check out this one first. This one's got the T-Rex on there, king of the bricks. And uh, it smells like the dawn of time. <laughs> Looky here. We've got the dawn of time. Uh, exfoliation. Heavy grit. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, now approach. Now approaching. This voice you're hearing is Richard Kiley. Um, we spared no expense. Uh, the, we're now approaching the T-Rex paddock. Prepare to come face to face with the fearsome strength of King of the Bricks, inspired by one of the most ferocious predators to ever walk the earth. Um, this heavy grit brick sits atop the food chain with a woody, <laughs> spicy scent and features powerful ingredients like exfoliating amber, skin conditioning, dragon's blood... Huh? And <laughs> hydrating sawtooth oak extract. All right. I'm going to have to uh, look into dragon's blood. Uh, I'm not really sure. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't know what dragon's blood is, but put it on me, I guess. Um, definitely into that. That's really cool. So uh, <laughs> definitely into dragon blood. But amber granules. Okay. That's perfect for Jurassic, right? We also do have Raptor Rush if you want to get uh, 
your nocturnal, if you want to smell like a little nocturnal forest with medium grit, uh, this one says, get ready. It's feeding time. Lather up and experience the thrill of the hunt with Raptor Rush, inspired by the Velociraptor, a stealthy and nocturnal pack hunter. This bar soap features a fresh, earthy scent and prehistoric-themed ingredients like exfoliating fossil powder, conditioning dino egg fruit extract. Dino egg fruit extract. Wow. And reju rejuvenating dinosaur plant extract. Now I'm starting to just think that these things are made up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm starting to like not expect that these are real things. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but uh, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I have been uh, ignoring the chat here. Uh, uh, I like, uh, yeah, you gotta, I guess you gotta get it. This, this is definitely sealing the deal. Should be a Dr. Squatch Malcolm inspired. <laughs> what would that, what would that smell like? Oh. Oh, I love this. Triceratops uh, uh, dro droppings. Droppings. Uh, is that is that what you want to go with? Are you sure you want to go with that kind? Uh, uh, with a hint of lilac. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I like this stuff. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Great site. Great website. Shout out to uh, Dr. Squatch for really killing it on the website. Um, pretty cool. So that is uh, on drsquatch.com. You can check that out. We will have more on our website and uh, on YouTube here shortly when I get a chance to open these fully and take a look. But uh, I appreciate Dr. Squatch for sending these our way. Thank you so much. Uh, they smell great. That's all I can tell you. That, that's what I'm expecting. But I know I've had some people reach out and wonder if they smell like too strong or anything like that. I know when I opened up this crate, I was like, Phew. there was like a wall of scent that, that came like, you know, floating out. It was it was actually pretty great. And I loved it. I love a, a nice strong scent. You know, I've got like, I like, I've got a candle going right here. Mm, like, so like that's, I've got another candle right here, just not on. Uh, do you turn on a candle? Is that what happens? Um, but like, like for instance, I dig that kind of stuff. So like I have, here's one, here's a candle, but it's like ET forest. So that's like, right. That's like the Sorna. That's a Sorna vibe. And actually I meant to bring that up before because, uh, out at universal Orlando, they, they did have, I think they did have a site B, um, uh, not, uh, not soap, but a uh, candle, um, Oh man, it just smells like smells like a pure like forest. Oh, like that would be great. That that's a different smell than those ones, uh, the soaps. So, yeah, give us a site B soap. Give us a Malcolm, just kind of sweaty smelling, I guess. Maybe smells like a little bit like dirt because he was like laying. It may, you know, and then, and then you can infuse it with a little bit of Malcolm blood. Uh, if you got the dragon blood, if that's no prob, get the Malcolm blood or even gold bloom. Just say gold bloom blood. Uh, you know, in, infuse it in there. You know, just got Goldblum on one side, sitting, sit, like laying down. He's got the IV dripping, and uh, and then you've also got the soap maker over here, just dripping the soaps. Is that how you in, into the mold? And then also the mold of Goldblum <laughs> blood. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's that. Uh, how much time do we got? Not much time left. We got about uh, 10 minutes or so left of this stream here tonight. It's going to be a shorter one. Because um, I have to record about the Mandalorian. But uh, here, we're going to be talking about... Actually, Ken, switch over here. Mattel's latest. So, going over to Collect Jurassic right now so shout out to tim over at collect jurassic we're going to be taking a look at your twitter feed as we usually do here on the live streams because you're showcasing everything 
as fast as possible. And we're here to take a look right along with everybody else. So definitely go check out Collect Jurassic if you can, collectjurassic.com and uh, all over social media. But uh, here we go. We got this, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pyroraptor. Pretty cool. Oh, um, <laughs> but uh, I dig it. I, I kind of dig it because it, you know, I know a lot of people have pointed out it looks like uh, like a parrot or something. Um, so that's pretty cool. It, I, I like. I gotta applaud them for that kind of design. There, there's an interesting blending going on down there. That's kind of nice looking. Is it gonna look like that? I don't know. But I would I would have appreciated it even a little bit more if like it was blended up there in the top of the leg or something. But I kind of get what they were going for because when that bird extends its wings out it's um you know it's just fully yellow underneath and everything so this really does look like that parrot or whatever kind of bird it is uh, macaw maybe um but yeah it looks pretty sick i think it looks kind of cool it's just something about the yellow legs though that i just don't like and I, I guess maybe if the if the claws were painted maybe that would really seal it for me but um it might be something about that yellowish color that always, when I see that on the dinosaur, I just feel like, oh, it's just like I'm painted. It just doesn't look good. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool looking. I dig it. Um, am I going to get it? Eh, probably not. Probably not. Um, but, no, it doesn't. it's, it's not a prototype. It's uh, going to be the Dino Tracker's Danger Pack. So, yeah. Um, so that looks, uh, interesting. Uh, let's see. Do you people like this one? Are you digging this one? I want that dinosaur toy so bad. It's neat to see the Pyroraptor in different colors. Reminds me of the one in Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, does it? I, uh, I'm not really even sure what that would look like. <sighs> I haven't really gotten back to it. Not a, uh, yeah, not a prototype. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what else we got here. Ooh, we got some more Hammond Collection stuff. Check it out. Uh, we've got uh, four items here. Are they same picture? Same picture. Okay, so we let's take a look. Why do I feel like their faces are like the same face? But like one has a beard <laughs> one doesn't um all right so there's nedry i'm trying to look around where do, do i have nedry somewhere yeah he's over there it looks like a different face than it looks like a different face than the amber collection and i feel like it's a different face than like the three other three and three inch quarter uh three and three quarter inch inch yeah not inch, inch quarter that's not a thing uh three and three quarter inch uh figure it looks different to me but uh, not really, yeah, it's not exactly what, what you would call, you know, Dennis Nedry. But, you know, I get it. Hopefully the jacket comes off and you can swap out the arms. That would be pretty cool. Um, give us, because, you know, he does sneak around the facilities there in that outfit with the, like, that under jacket thing. Because he does, like, wear this, like, gray coat or something like that um that you see there so give us like the gray sleeves and let us take off that yellow jacket that would be pretty cool um so there's that and of course he's got to come with the stick stick stupid fetch the stick um all right so then we've got the lines namesake right here finally <laughs> john hammond in all of his uh hammond glory there he looks uh I feel like he looks pretty on par with what we've gotten before. It looks like he even has, you know, the dirty white shirt <laughs> that uh, we've seen before. But, uh, but yeah, it looks uh, very much like a shrunken down amber collection. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, we have the other one over there. I can't really tell. I'm trying to look at that one. Uh, the other three and three inch, three inch quarter, three and three quarter inch. Man, I'm all messed up. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've got that other one over there, too. But that one doesn't seem as detailed as this one does. But uh, who knows if it actually looks like this. We'll see. But uh, it's finally great to have 
John Hammond in the Hammond collection. Uh, would have thought he'd be like day one, but uh, he wasn't. So we've known this one was coming for a little bit. The, the Juvenile T-Rex. Finally good to see it there. Um, yeah, and this is exactly... I think it's pretty much what I had hoped for. It, um, you know, I feel like it looks pretty good. The head looks pretty nice, as far as I can tell. Body looks pretty nice. You know, I think they did a decent job on this one. Um, I'm trying to think, where's the other one? It seems, it seems better than the uh, Amber Collection one, which is the six inch line, but it looks better to me than the, the six inch over there. That one was like super green. Hopefully this one's a little toned down, a little more natural. Um, hopefully it's got some nice blending. I mean, the other one had some decent, like a decent paint job on it. It was just very, very green. Um, it looks like what it grew up to be in Jurassic Park 3 when it got killed by the Spinosaurus, right? Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, again, it comes with the muzzle and the leg thing. And I'm super excited by that. You know, I'm, I'm glad that that is, a th that is a thing that is just carried over from line to line to line to line. Um, so glad to see that again. And uh, what else we got here? Got to hurry it up here. We've got uh, the baby Stego. Pretty cool. Great, great to see. Does it look like the baby Stego from the movie? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to really compare. It doesn't exactly look like it to me, like off the top of my head, but uh, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely down for that, so that's exciting. Um, but there's that. Was there something else along with this? No, that was it. Okay. Um, what else we got here? We got a Corythosaurus. Looks pretty awesome. That looks fantastic. Uh, very cool to see that. That's awesome. Really, really great paint job on there. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, so that's a that's like one of their best ones I think they've made. Now this one, I, I said this recently. I was like, why? Why are we getting a Metric Anthosaurus here? Um, I get it. I, I understand why, but like it just doesn't really make sense for me to have this. But it does look pretty cool. It does look pretty cool, and it looks incredibly better than like so much better than what they gave us in the standard you know core line metric anthosaurus um this looks so much better now i don't know does it look exactly like a metric anthosaurus like would have in real life i have no clue i'm not the expert there but this looks much better than what we've gotten previously with the regular core line and it looks like a pretty cool paint job i think that's a pretty good looking paint job um, looks like a massive head. That's that's interesting, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So there's that. So what else we got? Uh, let's go to this last one here, I think. Um, we've got the Irritator, which looks... Woo! Woo, this looks pretty great. This looks pretty great. Um, again, this is another one where I'm like, why are we getting an Irritator for the Hammond collection already? I don't know. But it's here, and uh, it looks pretty fantastic. <laughs> Like, this is uh, pretty amazing. So I know that they, you know, we had the Irritator previously. I got it down there. It looks cool. I've, I've always dug that one. But uh, they updated that one now, I think. I don't remember if the face or anything was different, but it came with a new tail. And uh, the tail looks pretty kind of like fin-like, like this one almost does. It even more exaggerated than this one is. But this one kind of blends, like, like the Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, and like the 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 new tail on the irritator it's like a really good blending of all those things i don't know does it look like a real irritator i have no idea again but i think it looks pretty cool it looks like a long neck is that accurate i don't know but uh i definitely dig this thing i dig this thing if, if you're a dinosaur if you're selling me a dinosaur with a like a spine like a sail on it i need it all right i need it so this looks pretty great. Really digging. Again, the paint job on this is pretty phenomenal. Really digging it. Um, so, yeah. Definitely a good one. Yeah, that looks pretty legit. Um, I think there's a few more pictures. Whew. And that tail looks really cool. Look at that. Oh, man. Like, such an awesome, like, profile. That's super cool. 
I, I really can't wait for that one. You know, again, I'm, I'm definitely confused as to why we, we're getting, like, all these random uh, dinosaurs that are not, like, exactly on film or anything like that. So uh, I appreciate it, though, because it does look pretty cool. So I'm uh, definitely going to be getting that one. I think there was... Um, let's see. The thread... Let me check out the thread here, because I know there were some other... Um, yeah, there's, oh, there's that. that. Let's see. Is there anything else here? I thought there were some other ones. Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. This this thing here. This is a Triceraptor. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Glad to see a different color on the Triceraptor. This thing actually looks pretty cool. Definitely digging that. This one. The Gigantospinosaurus. I don't know how to say that. It's just... That's a skippable one for me. Um, and then we got this. Dilophosaurus. Rap. Uh... You know, not not in love with this at all by any means. But uh, what are you gonna do? And I think that was probably it. Yeah. Now we're getting back up to the other ones. So I think uh, Mattel is doing a pretty good job here with the Amber Collection. Amber Collection. The Hammond Collection. The Hammond Collection. Doing a pretty good job with the Hammond Collection. And uh, I'm excited by it. I uh, I want to see more stuff that we're familiar with from the films. Hopefully we get those sometime soon. But that is all I have for you today. So please definitely go back, uh, listen to the podcast. Like I said, we do have um, that, uh, that episode here with uh, Jurassic Collectibles. So please go check that out with Ben chatting with Jurassic Collectibles. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, um, Audible, Overcast, wherever you listen to the podcast. Definitely go check it out and definitely leave us a review over on Apple Podcasts. I think you can on Spotify too, I guess. Uh, I don't really know where or th wherever that is. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, you can. You, I think you can do that. <laughs> but uh, definitely check it out. And uh, again, you can check me out on the Forcecast this week. I'm on that episode at the top there, but I'm also going to be recording another one in a few minutes here. As always, please find us online, Jurassic Park Pod over on Twitter, Jurassic Park Podcast over on Instagram. Who cares about Facebook? We are on TikTok and all those platforms that I mentioned before. JurassicParkPodcast.com didn't mean to shrink that down. Not sure why that happened, but let's <laughs> fix that up. Uh, is it still not? There we go. Uh, no, not totally done. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't make it go over the top there we go all right um but anyway thank you so much for watching this i am at brad jost over on twitter um yep ending this one quickly because i have to go record some other stuff i appreciate everybody for being here sorry if i skipped over um everybody else's stuff in the chat tonight oh shout out to steve sorry about that i, I almost missed you there 65 next week yeah i think so i think so i think we're gonna be uh checking that out what uh what day is it is it uh the 10th or something like that. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be checking it out hopefully next week and uh, getting a review out on the show. So thank you so much for the super chat. Really, really appreciate it. I'll try to do a bonus episode um, talking about 65 because I'm, I'm interested to see what happens there. I'm really interested to see what goes on in that movie, but uh, thank you so much everybody for watching tonight and for commenting along and chatting. Um, but that's it. We'll see you again probably next Wednesday. Yeah. I guess next Wednesday. No, no, no new episode this coming week. You'll be able to listen to this episode for the next two weeks here, um, or not this episode, but the uh, Jurassic Collectibles chat. Um, but yeah, new episodes coming soon. New videos coming soon. Keep your eyes out for um, the captives unboxing that I got right there. Doctor Squatch unboxing that I got right there, and some fun other stuff along the way. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you.